All right, y'all, welcome back. It's Big Al, and we've got a challenge locking device. Uh, you might be wondering why I'm wearing a rubber glove. Uh, the lock is called polio, so I'm just trying to be safe. You see? Yeah, polio. No, I'm just playing around, but it is called polio. I just thought that'd be funny. <laughs> All right, so uh, this one here is by uh, Jason Carlson. And I gotta tell you, I just tried this one a second ago. Let me come in a little bit here. And uh, this thing's a real pain in the rear, I'll tell you what. Really tricky. Uh, Jason, great job. Uh, by the way, there's the, it's a Yale style keyway on a very nice uh, oval six pinner. Uh, there's the key right there. Um, I don't like seeing the key ahead of time really, but you know, sometimes we do and that's all right. But there it is. Uh, like I said, Yale style keyway. And the lock does work. It's got a little, Sticks a little bit, but it is a challenge lock, so as long as that core turns with the key, I'm good to go. All right, so bada boom, bada bang. Um, you're also going to notice that beautiful pack locks in the background. We'll get to that when this is, uh, if I can get it open. Hopefully I can get it open on camera. Um, I'm going to be using two picks on this one. I'm going to be using the uh, one of the Sparrow's new uh, 12,000s uh, high hooks and the uh, Southord kind of a shorter hook for the south ord. Uh, I like using these south ords on Yale style keyways because the low shaft, you can really work them in there pretty good. So let's see if we can get this thing going here. Bada boom, bada. Actually, I'm gonna go ahead and start off with the south ord. We good on the camera? We're good enough, all right. Bada boom, bada bang. I'm going into the back first and I'm gonna drag it forward to get to that, at least feel that back pin. Okay, it's not ready yet. All right. Okay, there we go. I, I did notice uh, that it's real easy to get into a false set, but not that easy to finish it off. It will pop into... There we go again. It will pop into a false set pretty quick, which tells me there's some designer pins in there. Because it's already turning a little bit. Hopefully the... Hopefully you can see it. I should have probably marked it. I think it's like pin fours. Um, if you can hear that noise in the background, I hope not, but neighbors are uh, putting new cabinets in the house. So they're making quite a bit of noise. Okay, now I had to go the back pin in the back. I hope I got it. I don't know. Yeah, the neighbors, like I said, they're putting in uh, all new cabinetry, so. Ooh, that one's coming way back. I don't know about that one. So we're stumped on something here. I mean, okay. I think that was the th second or third pin we got. Let me see. Let me feel around in here and see where we're at. Okay, that back one again. I think, okay, there it goes again. I might not be getting it high enough. Let me check these front ones again. I kind of feel something around pin three-ish, but let me check up front. I think we're good up front. Four, five. So yeah, I think we're uh, <clears throat> hung up on that pin in the back that's great by great I mean no it's not great I 
Okay, hopefully. Oh. I can only hope I got it high enough. Okay. Now I'm going to come up front. Yeah, I'm not sure I got that last pin all the way up. Because it's high. Alright, I'm going to use the south ord again. Check these again. Okay, we just dropped into a major false set. There we go. Got her. Beautiful. Very well done, Jason. Beautiful. All right, so let me get backed out a bit here. And, yeah, we're very much open. Fair enough. By the way, I was using one of those new, uh, I think these are from Sparrows, these uh, knurled type uh, flat bars. They're all right. Um, I wish they had uh, thicker ones than those, but they don't. That's all right. All right. Bada boom, bada bang. Let's get down over here. Get us a pin and tray. Let's see. How about this one? Since we're going to be showing those pack locks with the same uh, logo on them, right? All right. Good enough. Okay, yeah, like I said, beautiful uh, uh, oval cylinder. Really nice. With a Yale style keyway. Uh, it kind of looks like them Lockwood ones I have, or the Asa ones I have, but they don't have a uh, Yale keyway like this. Okay, so uh, I'm going to go ahead and lock it back up since we got the key and it's not mummified. And let's see. I might be able to just push this dude right out if I can get the pin on there. Nope, doesn't fit in the hole. Okay. So we're going to stretch it out a little bit. Just like that. All right. Bada boom, bada bang, baby. Set that over there. Get the key. And it's got all kinds of slits in the back of this thing going every which way. So I'm definitely going to shim this beast of burden right here. Oof. Alrighty. Follower. Make sure it's big enough. Yep. Alright. And it is pinned up all six. It looks like one and five were kind of uh, overset traps in a way because they're pretty high. Yep, they barely needed any picking. That's probably what uh, had me tripped up uh, the first time I picked it earlier. Ooh. Key pin two. Cooperate. Cooperate. Okay. Three. Four. Five and six. All right, let me get some specs on here. Check out that core. See if there's anything done. I can see there is. Uh, we've got an undercut. Well, no, there's not. Well, sort of. Yeah, it's kind of an undercut. It's just not deep. Kind of wallow it out a little bit. A number one and three and five yeah they're yeah well, yeah i think they're undercut like i said they're just not deep and then uh one three and i'm sorry undercuts were in two four and six threading in one three and five that's my bad 
you can see them they're just not real deep just enough to trip you up and it worked like I said it was nice and tricky very well done all right bada boom bada bang let's get some tweezers Ooh, very nice long spool which makes sense because oh, well, one was threaded so wow that's a fancy looking pin right there we'll get a close-up on these very nice three oh three is a drunken spool Serrated drunken spool looks like. And last but not least. Definitely likes his Dremel. All right, and those were not removed. I'm going to bet a dollar to a donut on that, so there's nothing modified up there. All right, bada boom, bada bang. We'll get the table real quick. All right, I think we can see them pretty good from there, yeah? Key pin number one, we've got some serrations on it and a little cat hair it looks like. <laughs> uh, serrated number one, regular in number two, three, and four, and another kind of serrated with a reduced top on number five, and then six is standard. Drivers, we got a, looks like a uh, very long spool. I don't think that one's homemade, but that's okay. Very long spool, really nice. And uh, two, obviously a very fancy look. It almost looks like one of those chess pieces. Now see this thing is um yeah it's very um out of round um that's why you got to have those um uh a riser with a bearing in it uh, if you use a, a rotary tool it'll do that if it's out of round um but still very good looking pin we got a serrated drunken spool I, it's probably the first time I've seen one of those drunken spool with serrations on the end number three very cool looking pin in number four. Uh, five serrated and six. Again, almost like this one here, but straight. Very nice. Jason, it was a very fun, tricky lock. I really appreciate it. And uh, that was from, I think, the last box you sent me. And I just got another box from you. So, rock and roll. Uh, you got one headed towards you, I think. Anyways, I just sent you a box. Um, so, these pack locks I just had made. Um... Obviously, it put, had my uh, logo put on them. These are very nice, uh, repinnable six-pin uh, pack locks. Very beautiful. Um, I bought five of them. I'm going to keep one with my collection. The other four will be um, given away in future giveaways. Obviously, I have um, uh, probably the 500 subscriber giveaway. will be the next one coming up. It's creeping up slowly, but I'm pretty sure it's going to happen. Uh, so one of these will be included with that and I'll probably do another double up like I did on the last subscriber giveaway. I did kind of a double giveaway with a bunch of Sparrow stuff. I'm going to do the same thing again probably or at least close to it. Uh, I'll get a couple sets of uh, you know Sparrow's lockpick sets and stuff like that and uh, throw in uh, one or maybe one or two of these. At least one of these someone will get on the uh, 500 subscriber giveaway. So stay tuned for that. Like I said, it's creeping up. It's getting close to it. All right, so uh, that'll wrap it up. Uh, again, thank you, Jason, for pinning that up and sending it to me. Thank you all so much for watching. As always, if you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. And uh, if you comment, I will get back to you. All right, Big Al, signing off.